You know, v- video games are pretty cool, right? We like video games. There's, there's, there's so much variety within the game genre. You have RPGs, you have FPSs, you have RTSs, you have MMOs, and more RPGs. You have simulation games. You have like just all these different types of games. Even within those games, you have a lot of what's the word I'm looking for? Diversity. Um, but there's some people who hate diversity in any any form, yet will continue to play the games that they supposedly do not like. This is a, a long intro to talk about this one we saw on Twitter, by the way. Um, it is baffling how pathetic people are. So just to preface this, this dude put out an hour-long video talking about why Tears of the Kingdom is not a masterpiece. And yes, people are allowed to have differences of opinion. Sure, you can not like Tears of the Kingdom for a multitude of reasons. Just like you could not like Breath of the Wild for a multitude of reasons. But, almost all of his guys' reasons are because there is diversity in the game. And it's wild. It's wild to be like a Zelda game with diversity. Well, when that's literally... The games have always been super fucking diverse. I mean, you have people of different skin colors, people of different religious uh, backgrounds, people of different species interacting. But he's taking real umbrage with uh, <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play the video for you guys, the entire video. It's only like two minutes long. And then we'll come back if you're still here. I'm, I'm so sorry, by the way. This is Again, I'm apologizing before you watch this. It is a lot of the most dumbest, just worst takes you have seen. Queen was- By the way, here's a uh, trigger warning. He, he does use some uh, uh, words that people might find offensive. Uh, just just putting it out there. He's, again, this is not this is not great. Uh, this is obviously me doing some post, but yeah, here's your trigger warning. Here's, I'm gonna put the TW trigger warning up there. It's gonna be language and ableism and all all that stuff. Okay, all right. Good good talk. Uh, we'll say dark elf. So despite the fact that the Gerudo are clearly supposed to be like the Middle Eastern inspired race, I guess you could say, but they might even be a different species than Highlands, I'm not sure. They could be like a Sari and just take genetic material from Highlands to make more Gerudo, right? But no, now there's actually a lot of Highlands that are various shades of brown throughout the world. And of course, one of the founders of Hyrule set the stage for the entire series, created a wonderful Wakanda-esque utopia, is one of these brown Hylians. Almost literally, we was Kangs and shit. So much for Skyward Sword being the beginning of the series. And to dip into the schizo paint a little bit, the king being a goat man, who are the Zonai people who came from the heavens, is borderline satanic imagery. I have no idea if this is intentional or not, but Japan used to be infamous for putting weird Christian symbolism in anime and occasionally video games. So this could be an extension of that, or again, if you want to take the schizo angle, this is a result of a certain cult organization full of quote-unquote elites that are subtly inserting their propaganda into video games. There's all sorts of little nuggets of wokeness, like Paya now having a giant brown boyfriend who looks like a Giga Chad in comparison to Link, despite the fact she was thirsting for his dick in the last one. Not to mention the quote-unquote subtle homosexual imagery from Breath of the Wild has been expanded even further in this one, and I already know people are gonna say I'm reading into it and no kid's gonna see this shit, but that's exactly how you desensitize people and how you groom them, right? You expose them to things. The vow that each of the new sages takes to Link looks like they're proposing to him. And Sidon, the giant shark guy, people already made a bunch of gay lewd images between him and Link when Breath of the Wild came out. Yeah. Yeah, that was um, just a small snippet of this video. And before you guys start going, oh, well, I'm taking stuff out of context. Listen, I wouldn't recommend it, but if you want to go watch an hour of this drivel, go nuts i'm sure at this point i put the link to the video somewhere or at least show them like what the guy's account is and you guys can look at for yourself i'm not gonna hot link that to him <laughs> hot link yeah but it, it's it's insane to me you would get so fixated on like the amount of brown people in a video game and then talking about how like oh this is like satanic imagery my brother in christ have you never played a zelda game 
there's all sorts of imagery. Doesn't make it satanic. Like that's just cool character design. That's a cool character. Zonai have great designs. But then he goes on on this spill about like, oh well, it's these elites are putting in this propaganda. Look at Sidon. He's um proposing to Link. He has a wife. Like, dude's married. Like he looks like they're doing proposals because they're clasping someone's hand. Like, it's very obvious. It's very obvious what this guy's entire uh let's say background is. Red flags like visiting a synagogue for no fucking reason. And again, can't even get into it or I'll be demonetized, shadow banned, all that shit. But it is weird that we get a mini history lesson on Judaism in the middle of this zombie apocalypse story. And on top of that, a major story point is Ellie and Big Schnoz's lesbian relationship and how an Asian guy- And it's not a surprise that he's trying to look like Tim Pool in those videos. Certainly sounds like him. But it's wild to me that you could play Legend of Zelda and be so upset that a NPC got married or is dating a brown NPC because your NPC was being thirsted after by her, supposedly. Like, what did, what did he want from that situation to happen? Like, oh, she can't date anyone because she likes Link. Link is obviously obsessed with the princess, so why would it matter? Like, it's, it's weird to be projecting onto that. I can't let that part go because he calls him a Giga Chad. What? He's not the only, like, buff dude. And he has no... I don't think he even show his face, right? I think his face was covered. You don't even get to see his face, but he's a Giga Chad because he's brown-skinned and muscular. And if you guys aren't picking up what I'm putting down, this guy's an incel. That's, that's, that's the incel red pill shit. That's what the red pillars do. They talk about Giga Chads and um, how women do hypergamy and all this shit. But to be like this upset over a video game is, ah, that's new low. That is just pathetic. That is just <laughs> pathetic. And this might be a mean-spirited video, but that was a mean-spirited hour-long video he posted on YouTube. So I feel like I can get away with that. I just wanted to post this real quick because, holy shit, you guys. Don't be this guy. Get a job. Uh, go outside. Touch grass. Um, have friends. Real friends. Not people in video games. My, oh, wow. Just, just wow.